Hello once again, thank you for tuning in and if it's the first time here, my name is Chandra and I hope this message blesses you or somebody out there and today's topic is deliverance is the children's bread. My father wants me to come here and talk about deliverance, how deliverance is a covenantal blessing found in Jesus Christ. I know most Christians out here, they have heard a lot about demons and evil spirit that they get desensitized. They don't even understand the agency to be free. I know that there are even so many religious leaders out there who reject the concept of demons and deliverance. And some people, they don't even want to cast demons because they lack understanding and they think that if they cast that demons, the demons going to come after them and they don't want the backlash. The fact of the matter is, demons are real and there are people out there bounded by demons. And people shouldn't normalize this. They need to be free because deliverance is part of the covenantal blessing found in Jesus Christ. Deliverance is our portion also because we are Abraham's children, has according to the promises. And deliverance is also an action of being rescued and set free. The Bible even tells us that deliverance is children's bread, meaning that deliverance belongs to those who are in the body of Jesus Christ, those God's own sons and daughters, purchased by the blood of Jesus. Therefore, distinction is made to who qualifies for deliverance. As you can see, deliverance is there for God's sons and daughters, meaning the heirs to the kingdom, the believers, and God's children. And I know people always say things like, Jesus cast the demons because that time he didn't go to the cross yet. And now he died in the cross and we are set free, which is true. And I believe in that as well. But you have to remember that the Bible also tells us in Matthew 10, 1, that when Jesus had called his disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirit to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. And also the Bible tells us in Mark 16, 17, that these signs will follow those who believe and in my name they will cast their demons and they will speak with new tongues and also the bible tells us in act 16 18 the story of paul and silas and the slave girl the, the slave girl that was possessed with an evil spirit spirit of divination who made a lot of money or profit for her master by fortune telling. The Bible told her, told us that after the girl kept on following Paul and Silas, telling people like, these are the true men of God. Paul greatly annoyed. He turned and said to the spirit that was inside that girl, that I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her and he came out that very hour. So this shows you, it means that Jesus, he gave us the power to cast our demons and he wants his children to continue with the process here on earth. As long as we have the Holy Spirit inside of us, we've been entrusted in, with that power. We are capable of casting out demons and we are capable of delivering God's children because when we have the power of the Holy Ghost, it means that Jesus lives in us. Believe it or not, most Christians have demons, but Christians cannot be possessed by demons. There's a difference. However, they can be oppressed by demons. And people shouldn't normalize this. They need to get free. Deliverance is our birthright as Christians.
And don't listen to people out there who tells you that you don't need that because Jesus has already done it. Because sometimes people listen to people or follow the norm or follow the what is out there because maybe because there are lots of big ministries out there who don't believe in deliverance and some of the ministers could be they look up to those ministers and because of their affiliation with those ministries they don't want to get involved with deliverance ministries and they don't want to be part of that they just want to follow the norm but you need to understand that jesus did cast out demons from people and when we receive the Holy Spirit, we receive the power to do the same. Cast out demons and set the captives free. The Bible even says also that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Revelation and knowledge is out there. But you choose to ignore it or you reject it and God even says that if you reject knowledge I will reject you of being priesthood to me and to me and it's not like the information is not out there it's just that it's not like information is not prevalent out there it's not relevant out there or it's not present out there but you choose to ignore it because you think that it's something that you don't need. You think that it's something that you don't know, you don't, you don't want to know about. You feel like it's something that you don't want to do or it's not something that you want to get involved with. Because you want to live at the benefits of your sin. But you need to remember that the wages of sin is death. Get knowledge. Get revelation, wisdom, and understanding, and be set free. I'm here to tell you, brethren, deliverance is the children's bread. It's a covenantal blessing to those who are in Christ. And it's there for the children of God who can be oppressed by demons. Because they can be casted out of them, and there's nothing wrong with that. Our Father, Lord Jesus Christ, did it. And when he empowered us with the power of the Holy Spirit, we can do the same. The apostles, they did it. Disciples did it after he left to be with the Lord. They casted out demons using his name. And he never said that it should stop with them. He said he will entrust it, those who, who, those who, who follow him, and who believe these signs will be with them those who believe and they can cast demons in his name and we can do the same so don't be fooled you can still do the same and it's something that God requires each and every one of us to do and it's on it's the children's bread and we can do it so I'm here to tell you deliverance is children's bread we deserve it as Christians we can cast our demons because we've been given that power by our Lord Jesus Christ. So I hope you've been blessed by this message. And if you have, please like and share, subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. God bless you.